angels which are ministering spirits have wings and can fly. At least some kinds of angelic beings are spoken of as having wings. And these angelic beings are the seraphim and cherubim. These are the higher order of angelic beings. They have wings and they can fly. In Isaiah chapter 6 verse 2, Isaiah chapter 6 verse 2, the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 6 verse 2, says, Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with twin he covered his face, and with twin he covered his feet. And with twin he did fly. With two wings he covered his face. With his two wings he covered his feet. And with another two wings he did fly. Making six wings. So angels have wings and can fly. They can soar from afar. They can fly with their wing. They can take off by engaging the power of their wings. They can take to the air with the power of their wings. They can move at any speed and at the highest speed in the realm of the spirit. The highest speed in this world is the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. But the speed of angel is higher than the speed of light. The speed of angels is higher than the speed of sand. The speed of angel is faster than the speed of the wind. The speed of angel is the fastest in the realm of the spirit in comparison with nature. The natural things cannot stand beside supernatural things. <laughs> natural phenomena cannot contest with supernatural phenomena. <laughs> The mystery of angels having wings and flying in the realm of the spirit is a supernatural phenomenon, not a natural phenomenon. And for you to take a flight, you need the ministry of this ministry spirit. For you to take a flight, you need the ministry of the ministering spirit. That is when you can move at angelic speed and not at natural speed. Your colleagues can engage their natural speed, their intellect, their mental faculty in the race of life. <laughs> But for you to be ahead of them, you need an angelic speed and you must be aware of the ministry of angels so that you can command your angels and move at angelic speed, receiving angelic manifestations in this world. In Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 5, Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 5 The book of prophet Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 5 Say, And the sound of the cherubim's wings was heard even to the outer court as the voice of the Almighty God when he speaketh. The sound of the cherubim's wing was heard even 
to the outer court, the sound of the cherubim's wing was heard even to the outer court as the voice of the Almighty God when he speaketh. The cherubim's wing. So the cherubim's have wings and can fly just like the seraphims. In verse 4, he said, Then the glory of the Lord went off from the cherub and stood over the threshold of the house. And the house was filled with the cloud, and the court was full of the brightness of the Lord's glory. The glory of the Lord went off from the cherub. And the sound of the cherub's wing was heard even to the outer court. So as the cherubs lifted up their wings, the glory of the Lord went up from the cherubs. As the cherubs lifted up their wings, the glory of the Lord went up from the cherubs. So angels release the glory of the Lord. Angels release the glory of the Lord by engaging the power of their wings. And for you to enjoy the glory of the Lord, you must know how to command your angels, most especially the superior angels. The high order of angels are needed in this kingdom. And the high orders of angels are responsible for the demonstration of unusual power in the kingdom of Christ. In Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 16, Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 16, please lift up your head please. And let us read this verse together. It says, And when the cherubs went, the wheels went by them. And when the cherubs lifted up their wings, lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheels also turned not from beside them. Verse 17. When they stood, these stood, and when they were lifted up, these lifted up themselves also, for the spirit of the living creature was in them. And when the cherubims lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth, the same wheels also turned not from beside them. That was the vision of Prophet Ezekiel. Prophet Ezekiel saw the vision of cherubims being lifted up with their wings and lifted up their wings they are being lifted up with their wings and being lifted up by their wings they engage the power of their wings in their in their flight they engage the power of their wings for their flight and they were able to demonstrate power in the vision of prophet Ezekiel. In Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 19, Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 19, and the cherubims lifted up their wings and mounted all from the earth in my sight. They lifted up their wings. So when they went out, the wheels also were beside them and everyone stood at the door of the east gate of the lost house and the glory of the God of Israel was over them above. The glory of the Lord God was over them above. So when they went out, the wheels also were beside them. So angels can move around. They can fly over the face of the earth. 
they can move from one region to the other by engaging the power of their wings. The wings of the cherubims are very active when it comes to the issues of flight. And angels having wings tells us that angels were not omnipresent. Angels throughout the scriptures were not omnipresent. Or those angels are supernatural, but angels were not divine. Angels are supernatural, but angels were not divine. The Godhead were divine. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, which means God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Spirit of the living God were divine. But angels were not divine because angels were created by the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God that was used in the creation of angels, the Spirit of God that was responsible for the creation of angels, was also responsible for the creation of man. Let us make man our own image. So this earthly realm is our territory. But we can engage the ministry of angels in the realm of the spirit in order to receive our manifestations in this physical realm. So that means the spirit that was, wait a minute, there is, the spirit that was responsible for the creation of angels lives in us. The spirit that was responsible for the creation of angels lives in us. That means by engaging that eternal spirit that is in us, we can command angels. Angels can fly from one region of the earth to another. <laughs> they are not omnipresent. <laughs> they are powerful. They can move from one region to another region. You can stay in Africa and command angels to go to America and effect a change. You can stay in Asia and command angels to go to Australia and effect a change. Irrespective of the distance, you can command angels to effect a change, to transform the society, to win invisible battles with visible manifestation <laughs> to fight for you to speed up your testimonies on it you can engage the ministry of angels in the healing ministry but these angels are not omnipresent although they can move from one region to the other there are places you cannot get to in this world. There are places you cannot reach in this world. But you can engage the ministry of angels to reach these regions on earth. They can only fly by using their wings. They are not omnipresent. Please quickly open to Daniel. Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. Daniel chapter 9, verse 21. Labra Kushka Labalakia Kata. Daniel saw in a vision the angels of the Lord having wings and flying in the realm of the Spirit. Yea, why I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. The man Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, Come to me in swift flight at the time of the evening sacrifice by engaging the power of his wing. 
So angels can fly with their wings. John the Beloved also saw revelation of angels engaging their wings in a flight. In Revelation chapter 14 verses, Revelation chapter 14 verses, he said, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people. I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Another angel flying directly overhead with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who dwell on it, to every nation, tribe, language and people. Can you please open your mouth and tell God, Father, help me to fly. Help me to take a flight by engaging the ministry of angels. Help me to take a flight by engaging the ministry of angels. I want to take a flight, Lord. Help me to take a flight by engaging the ministry of angels. Barush kete barakata, ligare patos kete barere, ne pate katus kataba. Help me to take a flight by engaging the ministry of angels. In Psalm 18, please open to Psalm 18, verse 10. Psalm 18, verse 10. The psalmist said, And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He did fly upon the wings of the wind. So the cherub, Fly upon the wings of the wind. So for you to fly upon the wings of the wind, you need the ministry of angels. You can also ride upon a cherub. As the ancient of days rode upon a cherub, you can also ride upon a cherub and you can fly upon the wings of the wind. So that means nature cannot affect you. Whatsoever affects man is not permitted to affect you. The storms of this world cannot affect you. Because whenever there is a storm, you enjoy your flight. Every storms of life will make you to enjoy your flight. Because you are engaging the power of higher orders of angels. The cherubs. If you can command the high order of angels, the high class of angels, you can easily fly at a very high altitude in this world, irrespective of the altitude. Irrespective of the climatological phenomenon, irrespective of the spiritual phenomenon, you can easily fly in the realm of the spirit and get results. When there is hardship, you can easily fly in the realm of the spirit and get results. When people say there is casting down, you can easily say there is lifting up because there is and higher angel working for your manifestations on earth. You can get results in this world by engaging the ministry of angels. If you can know how to command your angels, you will receive a sure reward in this world, irrespective of the location. It is not by the location. Neither it is by relocation, it is by allocation. And one of the divine allocations in this kingdom, one of the supernatural allocations in this kingdom is the ministry of angels. It is not by your location, neither it is by relocation, it is by allocation.
So one of the spiritual resources that you need in this world is the ministry of angels. One of the spiritual resources that you need in this world is the ministry of angels. Angels are the spiritual instrument. They are the supernatural instrument in the kingdom of Christ. You can easily pull down every stronghold by engaging the ministry of angels. Angels have wings and they can fly. Do you know that the gold cherubim with wings on the atonement cover of the Ark of the Covenant are very powerful indeed? The gold cherubims with wings on the atonement cover of the Ark of Covenant are very powerful indeed. There is power in the wings of angels. And angels can easily demonstrate these powers, most especially the cherubims and seraphims. They are the high class of angels with wings. In Exodus, let's see this in Exodus. Exodus chapter 25 verse 20. Exodus chapter 25 verse 20. It says, And the cherubims shall stretch forth their wings all night, covering the mercy seat with their wings, and their faces shall look one to another. Towards the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubims be. Towards the mercy seat shall the faces of the cherubims be. So they cover the mercy seat. The gold cherubims with their wings cover the mercy seat. They guide the mercy seat by engaging the power of their wings and engaging the power in their wings. The cherubims and the seraphims are the high class of angels with wings and they can fly. They can fly at any speed. <laughs> they can fly at the highest speed. If you can engage the power of angels, your destiny shall stop crawling. Many destinies are just crawling. Many destinies are just crawling. They are crawling like snail. But for you to stop crawling in this world and start flying, you need the ministry of angels. The kingdom of Christ is not the kingdom of crawlers. The kingdom of Christ is not the kingdom of workers. The kingdom of Christ is not the kingdom of runners. The kingdom of Christ is the kingdom of high flyers. And for you to be an high flyer in this world, you need the ministry of angels. You must know how to ride on your angels. And for you to ride on your angels, you must command your angels. So that whatsoever affects man in this world will not affect you. So that whatsoever affects people in this world will not affect you. So that whatsoever affects humanity will not affect you. If you can engage the ministry of angels and ride on your angels, you will fly all night. You will fly far above the sky level. 